one of the most British stories to come out of the end of the Second World War centres around its military hardware. Since the birth of the tank in Britain, with the conception of Little Willie at the start of the 20th century, military engineers and designers kept innovating to create a more successful and deadly vehicle. However, for British tank crews, possibly its most important innovation came at the end of the Second World War. Previously, British tank crews had to disembark and leave their tank if they wanted to brew up or make a cup of tea, so they would have to leave their vehicle, leaving them vulnerable to attack. They would use a device called a Benghazi burner to do this. This was a petrol cooker, which was made from empty fuel cans. This burner had been around for a while, and the burners were also used to cook field rations and dinner. Rising smoke from this device, however, could lead to an enemy detecting a British crew's position, but things needed to change. The boiling vessel is a water heating system fitted to British armoured fighting vehicles that allows the crew to heat water and cook food by drawing power from the vehicle's electrical supply. The innovation, as previously mentioned, came at the end of the Second World War, when a Centurion tank was introduced with the device fitted inside the tank's turret. Now tank crews could make a cup of tea and cook dinner without even having to leave their turret, leaving them less vulnerable. The use of the boiling vessel also reduced the time taken for breaks, as tank crews wouldn't need to disembark, set up a small camp to cook at, and then eat. Imagine if you're an enemy sniper, sat watching the British brew up and make dinner. They would have been easy pickings. The first known version of the boiling vessel, known as the VBE No. 1, began to be replaced in the early 1950s by the stainless steel No. 2 version. The VBE No. 3 had improved electrical sockets and was less prone to leaks, which is the last thing you want near electricity. This device was fitted to every British tank ever designed since the Centurion, and the BV was even fitted to the FV-432 armoured personnel carrier for the benefit of those soldiers on board. Today it is fitted to almost every major type of vehicle, not just tanks in the British Army. The primary use of the boiling vessel is to heat ration tins or pouches, and the hot water is used for making drinks or for washing. The BV is a cuboid shape and allows four tins to be placed inside, matching the tank crew's numbers. Today a vehicle that has a problem with its tea making facilities is declared unfit for purpose. Other vehicles fitted with a BV inside include Challenger 2 tanks, MAN trucks, Warriors, Warthogs, Mastiffs, Jackals and Foxhound armoured vehicles. Usually the most junior member of the tank's crew would be appointed the BV commander, the person who was responsible for making the cups of tea for the other crew members on board. So overall the most important innovation in British tank design wasn't to do with anything like the speed of the Cromwell, the amazing protection system on the Challenger 2, or the improved gunnery and drive chain on the historic Chieftain. It was in fact, the ability to make a good cup of tea on board these amazing vehicles. I hope you've enjoyed this video, to support the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching.